Canine Digital, I am Adarsh Vepachedo. An 84-year-old man with multiple comorbidities has become the first in the country to receive the monoclonal antibody cocktail to treat COVID-19. So, what is this antibody cocktail? Developed by an American biotechnology company, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, the artificial antibody cocktail, which is an experimental medicine, consists of two drugs, casinivimab and imdivimab, which are proteins that can copy the immune system's ability to fight off the virus. The cocktail can be used to treat COVID-19 patients with mild and moderate symptoms before they worsen. It is said to be effective against the B1617 variant as well, which is currently prevalent in India. If you remember, it is this very cocktail that was administered to former US President Donald Trump when he had tested positive. Not just in the US, this particular treatment is extensively in use in Europe as well. This US FDA approved treatment was given emergency use approval in India on May 6th and was made available from May 22nd. It has been launched here by Swiss healthcare company Roche Holding AG and marketed by pharma company Sipla Limited. The price for each patient dose, which will be a combined dose of 1200 mg, that is 600 mg of casinivimab and 600 mg of imdivimab, will be 59,750 rupees inclusive of taxes. I had a chat with Dr. Naresh Trehan, chairman of Milanda Hospitals, where the country's first monoclonal antibody cocktail was administered. Many thanks, Dr. Trihan, for uh, speaking to us. Your hospital, Medanta Medicity, has administered the country's first monoclonal antibody cocktail on the 26th of May. An 84-year-old has received it and went home right away. Please tell us more about the composition of the cocktail and also what it must ideally be doing inside the octogenarian's body right now. So the composition is basically lab-manufactured antibodies to COVID-19, specifically for that. And uh, the composition is of two antibodies. One is Kasirivimab and the other is Mdevimab. These two antibodies have been found to be effective in disrupting the process of virus replicating itself. So when the virus typically enters or hooks up with the ACE2 inhibitor cells and draws, draws nutrition from them to multiply. So these two antibodies actually block the virus from entering that cell. In other words, it is unable to get the nutrition which it requires to replicate itself so that it then limits the virus from multiplying and then actually over a period of time it disappears. Mm -hmm. So the point basically is that this methodology, which is unique in itself that these antibodies are actually neutralizing the, the virus. Right. So that's why they are, no, they are known as monoclonal because that's the way they are manufactured. Okay. And the co combination is effective against not only the uh, viruses that are circulating from the beginning, but also in the lab, they have tested them against these the most virulent uh, variants that are present today. That are possibly B one six one seven. Okay. Now, doing that means that the viral phase of a COVID infection is the first seven days where the virus right. actually replicates itself. So it must be interrupted in that period. Mm -hmm. So when we are saying that. After 10 days of the illness, it, it is rendered uh, redundant to actually mm -hmm. try to uh, limit the virus. So the sooner you start, the less the viral load and the more effective it will be. So oh. that's why. The way to do it is to say, as soon as somebody tests RT-PCR positive mm -hmm. and it falls into the category of high risk or medium to high risk, which is defined by the fact that people who are elderly, people who are having comorbidities, and even children who may have comorbidities, 
but their weight has to be more than 40 kilograms. So it's okay. been tested in all these, and those are the people who should get it. All right. Early, especially the ones who are at a higher risk of being hospitalized, and people who are at a higher risk of actually losing their lives. So right. Is what, uh, right. So that's who should not get it. Mm -hmm. Is there is no data right now on pregnant women. There is no data on lactating mothers. So that should be avoided. And children whose weight who are below 12 years of age, or their and also their weight being below 40 kilograms. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Trehan, talking about the price now, the antibody cocktail costs about. 60,000 rupees. Yes, life is more valuable. Uh, and if everything goes well, which we hope it would, two things should ideally happen in the Indian scenario. A decrease in price so that we can expand the treatment's reach and subsequently an increase in the number of doses. Uh, in this regard, what role do you expect the government to play? I I'm sure uh, you would vouch for the treatment to be subsidized in the days to come. So, you know, the, there are two things. One, it is new science and there are only two companies that are manufacturing it. It's a very complex subject, how to do it and what the ingredients for it. And that's in the wisdom of the companies. They have said that they have created a special price for India and yet to make it feasible for the company to manufacture and supply. This is the minimum price that they can offer. Of course, they have given X number of doses to the government for free distribution also, which is what they say is our way of helping the country. So, I'm sure what usually happens with all these new pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. or drugs or new biotech uh, materials that are prepared, that over a period of time, as the cost of the research, the cost of manufacture, comes down because of the usage in numbers that this price will also come down. So you're right that it should be less so that more and more people can afford it. On the other hand, the argument is that if it actually prevents you from getting into the hospital, the cost of the medicine then becomes much less than the cost of hospitalization. Also the fact that the misery that the disease will cause or the risk that it will cause and the damage that it will do to the lungs, if that is limited, it is priceless. So sure. that's the dialogue that's going on right now. And there are not enough doses right now available because the manufacturing process is being complex. So that's why they are providing it in measured amounts. Right. All now. right. All right. Uh, also, Dr. Trehan, Roche's monoclonal antibody uh, cocktail is being called experimental. Uh, is it uh, uh, a concern of sorts? Well, everything, you know, even the vaccines were experimental. Right. And they were given emergency clearance. News, correct. Pandemic, because these are unusual times and unusual rules were created. Mm -hmm. As long as there is safety is established, and efficacy is actually demonstrated to a certain level and in this particular cocktail. What they have shown in the studies done in the US, which we have reviewed, and uh, there is a very large study from in Houston from the Methodist hospital system, where they did a very detailed study on this. And they have demonstrated that in their estimation, the people who would have had to be hospitalized because of their profile mm -hmm. and the viral load, that 70 to 80 percent of them did need not have been, were not needed to be hospitalized. So okay. that is their one statement. The other statement is that if you look for, according to the risk profile, the people who are the most likely to lose their lives, 70 percent plus were saved. Mm -hmm. So those are the two compulsive uh, uh, things in its favor that this works. Okay. Now, of course, it has not been tested in the Indian environment, mm. but like they have, I said, that the company has, Roche has, done some lab work on these variants and found that it, it is still effective. So it is to be proven on the ground, and that's why Medanta, which was actually a part of this whole dialogue for some weeks, has been, has been studying the whole, all the data and the science background and we are going to do, we are doing actually right now, a phase four trial, which is post-market, 
That okay. means we will track everybody who gets it. We will look okay. at the outcomes. We will look at the benefits as we uh, as we administer it to more and more people. So this is real time data collection, which is going on. All right. All right. Uh, lastly, Dr. Trihan, the big picture. Our antibody cocktails here to stay. I mean, we have the Zytus Cadilla also uh, that is seeking human trial approval in India for its antibody cocktail. And even this cocktail has two monoclonal antibodies. Can we say uh, while one door closed in the form of plasma therapy, another opened in the form of monoclonal antibody cocktails? So, you know, the power of antibodies in a plasma and the um, number available in, in one administration and multiple and uh, multiple administrations, does it match the effectiveness of these this combination, which is is like synergistic to fight against the viral virus? Is it more effective in a little bottle? That's what it seems like today, because we know that plasma therapy really didn't work. True. And a uh, lot of work was done. And then we found that it did not make the desired effect that it was supposed to have. Whereas the promise held by this monoclonal antibody cocktail is much higher. So we were first exposed to it when President Trump got it. When he got the virus, he went in there to Bethesda Hospital. He got it and he walked out two days later. Mm. Similarly, we have some experience because some of our parents, uh, patients, sorry, some of our patients were able to acquire it from the U.S. Through their connections mm -hmm. and we, we they did get it administered here and they walked out of the hospital two days later okay or had very mild course so there are several patients who have done that in the past because they were not being sold anywhere but it was like a, a trial going on and they acquired it somehow and then they, they were able to get it administered and, and and walk out so i think that there is some potentially a lot of benefit to it. The mm -hmm. data shows that. And like I said, the detailed studies done in some of the institutions are very, very well documented and show the benefits as I stated before. If you like the information that I brought to you, make sure you like and share this video. And yes, subscribe to TV9 News on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.